Hello, welcome back. Wanted to show you a uh, how my trading day started on the fourteenth. Uh, it was uh, Wednesday. I started the morning with the looking at this chart. This is a higher time frame chart for me, and you can see. I started off with the day going. You know what? We're in balance on a higher time frame. We're trading between these two volume nodes currently and that was this morning this got a little, a little later in the day but the bottom line that I want to show is that we were in a balanced state and I started off that day with that in mind here's the context we're in balance so then I understood what that meant for my trading day is that we were going to be in a mean reversion trading. And what mean reversion is, is that we're looking at a center point and then we go up and then we go down. And that center point is generally where we come to. Uh, in auction market theory, if you're not familiar, uh, the short version is, is that most of the time markets are in balance and they're always searching for the perfect price. And that perfect price in, in our chart is the volume point of control. That's where the most trades have taken place to understand that that's our most agreed fair value retail price, if you will. So with that understood, today one of the first trades that presented itself on a, a mean reversion is a few minutes into the market, we came in and sold off, and we sold off to where? We sold off to location, the outside edge. We had a stop run at 50, so 50 is a nice round number, you know. Why is 50 a nice round number? Because retail traders, that's you and me, will put our stops in those locations. So, we had a sell-off. Came down, came down, boom. Had a stop run. We moved up had a pullback. Notice what happened here. A very small amount of aggressive sell volume. So the sellers become exhausted there. And I draw these little structures because it's important to understand that in auction theory, no matter what the time frame, higher time frame, smaller time frame, it's all the same thing. In these structures, we have our own little auctions. So we too low, too high, too low. And then we explode it came back in to test the structure where right to the volume in the middle of that structure and then we continued higher a few minutes later we up above VWAP so as a mean reversion one of our first targets would be of course VWAP and from triggering point somewhere in here at 50 to VWAP up here is eight points not bad now we also had a target up here at, at VPOC at 62 so if we continued holding that with the uh, the VPOC you can see we continue to move higher so we got up to 60 we pulled back here still outside of our structure and where if you were in this the trade fails outside of the structure at the bottom so you can see our risk was low reward potential was high depending on how high you wanted to go where would we gone we're still looking for VPOC right and then what happens we get a shift after a big sell volume now I, I scale out of my trades I have a very uh, very quick scale out so I get risk neutral so I can ride these things here uh, risk-free you know without sweating it uh, 
if you were to hang on to this trade, you can see it continued all the way up into the mid 70s. Then about 10 minutes or so. So from uh, from the uh, from the low 50s to the mid 70s, a 25 point move. Uh, very very potential. Just noticing the context here. See the buying structure, but what was the context? Noticing the context was we were in balance. So we were in balance, and because we are in balance, we're going to mean revert trading and because we are mean revert trading we're looking at this coming down after a big sell-off potential at an area where we have retail trader stops and boom that's the fuel we start up we hold and we continue to move higher for the next few minutes using context i hope everybody sees that hope that helps Feel free to ask questions, put them in the comments, hit the like and subscribe button if you like this. I'll keep making these videos. Thank you so much.